Welcome learners, we are still continuing with the differentiation from form mathematics and we are going to look at uh, application of differentiation to velocity and acceleration. Uh, the first thing you're supposed to know is that the distance traveled by a particle is denoted by S in this topic, while the, the height covered by an object is denoted by an H. So the second thing is uh, to move the distance, uh, to find velocity, differentiate S with respect to T. I'm going to show you an example of how you're going to do that, e.g. you can look at s is equal to 3t squared 3t squared plus 2t plus 7 so if you're told to find the velocity you differentiate s with respect to t that is velocity and the units for velocity is meters per second so I said ds over dt in this case is so I said you multiply the coefficient by the power that is 3 times 2 which is 60 plus and then uh, t has a, a power of 1 you multiply that by its coefficient it is 2 and uh, t will remain with a power of 0 once you subtract any number with a power of 0 is just 1 so that is uh, the velocity the second concept, uh, the third thing you're supposed to know about is uh, to find acceleration, you differentiate velocity with the time. So to, you say dv over dt is equal to acceleration, and the units for acceleration is meters per second square. So in this case, if the velocity is 60 plus 2, then the acceleration will be 6 meters per second square. So how did I get the 6? I differentiated this. I say the acceleration uh, dv over dt will be 6 times 1, which is just 6, and any number that is constant is just a 2. So that is the, like the acceleration. Uh, we have additional concepts that you're supposed to look at in this topic. And one is that you, when you are differentiating with respect to time, you need to know that at maximum height, the velocity is zero. The second thing you're supposed to know is that at maximum velocity or at minimum velocity, the acceleration is zero. And uh, three, when the particle is momentarily at rest or stationary, the velocity is zero. At the initial velocity, the distance is zero and the time is zero. And five, and finally, you're supposed to know that at initial acceleration, the time is zero. So I'll give you an example to elaborate on the concept. The question says the displacement in meters of a particle from a point O after t seconds is given by S is equal to three t, t cubed minus 3t squared plus 2t. So it says uh, the first question is find the speed of the particle when t is equal to 2 seconds. And B, it said find its minimum speed C says find the time when the particle is momentarily at rest and D says find the acceleration when t is 3 seconds. So we're going to the first part of the question which says find the speed of the particle when t is 2 seconds. So we're going to find speed and speed in this case is velocity. So if we're finding velocity you have to differentiate s. It says that s is equal to t cubed. This is part a. S is equal to t cubed minus 3t squared plus 2t. So in this case, you're supposed to differentiate with S with respect to t to get v. ds over dt is equal to 3t squared. That is 3 times the coefficient, which is 1. That is 3. And the power you subtract from 1, which is squared minus 3 times 2, that is 6, and then you subtract the power from 1, which will remain t. And then I said when it has a power of 1, you, you multiply the power by the coefficient, that is just 2 times 1, which is 2. And this t has a power of 1, when I subtract 1 from 1, I get t power 0, which is just 1. Now this is the velocity. So I am told, find the velocity at t, when t is equal to 2 seconds. So I substitute t in the equation. I say velocity is equal to 3 into brackets. I substitute t with 2 seconds. 2 squared minus 6 into brackets 2 
plus 2. So I say 2 squared is 4 times 3, that is 12. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 12, that is 0. V is equal to 2 meters per second. That is the first part of the question. Part B of the question says, find its minimum speed. So I said that when you are finding minimum speed, the acceleration is 0. From the concepts I have given before, at the minimum speed, acceleration is equal to 0. So I say 3 t squared, 3 t squared minus 60 plus 2, that is our velocity. So how do I find acceleration? I said acceleration is equal to dv over dt, which is equal to 3 times 2, that is 6 t. I said 2 minus 1 is just 1, which is t power 1, minus 6 times 1, that is 6. And t has a power of 0, that will be our acceleration. So uh, it said find, find its minimum speed. So at minimum speed, acceleration is equal to 0. I say 60 minus 6 is equal to 0. I get t is equal to I get 60 is equal to 6, and I say t is equal to 1 second. So I substitute the value of t that I have gotten into the equation. I say v is equal to 3 into brackets 1, which is our t, squared minus 6 into brackets 1 plus 2. I get v is equal to and 3 minus 6, that is negative 3, plus 2, that is negative 1 meters per second. Because it's the minimum velocity, V is written as 1 meters per second, and the negative means that velocity in opposite direction. Velocity in opposite direction. So, part C of the question says, um, the time when the particle is momentarily at rest. So I said at rest, V is equals to zero. So I say 3t squared minus 60 plus 2, which is velocity, will be equal to 0. And when you look at this equation, it is a quadratic equation. So we are going to solve the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula that is negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a t is equal to, that is the quadratic formula. So we, in this case, we say t is equal to uh, negative negative 6 plus or minus square root 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2 divided by 2 times 3. So when I insert the values in my calculator, I get t is either 0 0.4 seconds or t is equal to 15.8 seconds. Now that is the, the time for the particle when it is at momentarily at rest. So part D of the question says, find the acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds. From part B, you can see that I found the acceleration and I've gotten the acceleration is equal to 60 minus 6. So I just substitute the value of t into the acceleration. I say a is equal to 6 into brackets 3 minus 6. So I say a is equal to 18 minus 6 and a is equal to 12 meters per second square, the units for acceleration.